Dozens of teenagers busted for some high school hijinks that officials say went too far. To hear about this one, they say the kids broke into their, their school in New Jersey, flipping desks, greasing doorknobs, and urinating in the halls. Criminal activity or a senior prank is the question bringing now to our legal panel. Mercedes Cohen, she is Fox News legal analyst, and David Schwartz, defense attorney and former prosecutor. Good to see both of you. Thank Good you. Good to see you. So, Mercedes, I'll start with you on this. Okay, we know the potential sure. potential punishment, uh, criminal mischief and burglary charges. This is for 24 of the students because right. they're eight. They're over 18 years old. Uh, so, should there be any limitations on the punishment in your assessment? Uh, not, not really, because first of all, there's 62 of them. It's completely mob mentality. They all thought, this is great, let's do it. We're seniors, who cares? We're never gonna be back in the school. And here they are, they go inside and then they urinate in the school and then they trash the school it's entirely. Wrong. It's so wrong. And well, frankly, if you charge them with, with burglary and criminal mischief, as they will be, they don't have criminal records, at least let them go through the process. It's very likely the judge will give them an ACD, which is like, Behave yourselves, we're gonna put and we'll wipe the slate clean. But to let them go and say, oh, it's just a prank, no way. What do you say? Well, I, I, I think it's more than a prank, but it's a lot less than a crime. We have children here, the, the administration, the school district is more than capable of, of handing out a punishment. There could be a withholding of diplomas, they could be on, on suspended leave, and they may not even get into the college that already accepted them. There are a lot of punishments out here. We don't need these children in the criminal justice system. So David, 62 students were arrested. Do you feel that the officers did not do the right thing by hauling them down to the, to the precinct? Well, well, there's a difference between hauling them down, I don't have a problem with that, but, there's, but between that and prosecution, okay? I don't think these students should be prosecuted. The school should take care David, of it. David, but where does it go, though? I mean, this is a slippery slope. If you let these kids get away with this, where does it go then? I mean, there has to be accountability. These kids are 17, 18 years old. They can already die for the country. 18-year-olds can go into the Army and do what, what, and, and, and other armed forces. You have to stop it. You have to stop it now. And now rehabilitation is key now, not when they're 35 and say, let hold them accountable then. It's, I, go ahead. Well, I agree with rehabilitation, but not in a criminal justice uh, format. There's enough people in the criminal justice system. We have really, we have bad criminals in this system. We have a bunch of students. They committed a prank. They need to learn a lesson, but certainly the school is more, more than capable of taking care of it. Mm -hmm. And what about, uh, you know, 38 of the students, they were juveniles, so they were released to their their parents, as you both well know, what should happen to them? Again, you're saying that basically the schools should either maybe suspend them for a couple of days, maybe don't let them march across the stage at graduation. I don't know. Um, do you think, though, that the parents should be held at all responsible for any uh, damage to property? I mean, no one, there's no evidence that they broke right. anything, but you know, someone did kind of yeah, you, you're relieve right. themselves in the hall. That's a great. That's a great question. I, frankly, they could do it civilly. They can't sue the parents and say, "Look, you're going to have to pay some restitution for what took place," and let the parents pull their money together and pay. It's probably going to fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars amongst all these kids. It'll be peanuts. Right. I, I agree with that. It's a civil penalty against the parents, against the students, and they should pay for the damages. I mean, but really. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm sure we did some boneheaded things when we were in high school, but w w where, where does this begin to be funny or fun? Do you know it's amazing? I, saw, I heard that, that the cops are going to do DNA testing to figure out who actually urinated in the halls. I mean, it's pretty... Okay, well, now that's but, over the top. But Isn't that over the top? It, it, that part is over the top, but still, it's still criminal It's over mischief. the top. You know Wait. why? Because then that DNA is in the, the hands of the police and it's now right. in the system. It, that's a little bit over the top. It's a waste of resources, okay? It's a prank gone way overboard. Punish these students administratively. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm not saying what they did was right and they shouldn't do that, but I'm just saying don't go too far with that one. What do you say? Uh, should we keep going with this one? What do you think? Because I got more in me if you want to go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go Let's for go. another minute. I mean, seriously, though, so they, they took the photos of these kids doing this, uh, the surveillance uh, cameras there, and that's how they got them. It's like, what, three, two or three o'clock in the morning sure. when, the, when the cops showed up? Uh, you know, I mean, do you feel at all, again, now we're going to get into a parental thing here, do you feel like these kids may have learned their lesson? Mercedes? Oh, I think, I mean, honestly, let them go through the process. There is a system in place. They'll get, they'll get arraigned. There'll be charges. And those other kids, even though they're under 18, they can still be charged as adults. I'm not saying that ultimately they're going to do any jail time. Not a, not a, not a question. They're not going to do jail time. But let them go through the I'm process. I'm just so happy for the people of Teaneck right now. They could sleep. They could rest well at night, Mercedes, <laughs> because we have DNA testing on all these children. We have photographs. They don't the have people, DNA testing. Well, the no. people could, they, they could, they could. Potentially. But they I get your anything at night anymore. I get your, your <laughs>
why you're being flippant about this one. Yeah. Okay, David and Mercedes, Thank good you. to see both of you, as, to see you. as always. And now we go over to Eric with some medical news. All right, Arthel, thank you.